In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to keep tabs open in Google Chrome so that whenever you close Chrome and then come back later and open it again, your tabs will still be there. And there's actually two different ways you can go about doing this depending on what you want. If you just want to keep a few tabs open that you use all the time, like maybe your emails and your calendar or something like that, you can use a feature called tab pinning to pin the one or two important tabs and then let all of your other tabs close when you close Chrome. But if you want to keep all of your tabs open so that you can close Chrome and open it back up again and everything will be there as though you never closed it, you'll need to change a setting in the Google Chrome settings to keep everything open. And Tim will show you how to do that later on, but if you want to use tab pinning, all you need to do is right click on the tab you want to pin. So if you wanted to pin this tab, you would hover your mouse over it like this and then either click the right click button on a mouse or click with two fingers on a trackpad on a laptop. And then in this menu that appears here, just click pin. And now, as you can see, the tab will get way smaller and it'll go over to this corner here. And now it can't be closed. So you can see the normal close tab button has gone. So you can't close it here. And if you close Google Chrome and then you open Google Chrome again, your other tabs will be gone. But Gmail, which is the tab we pinned, will still be here. But if you ever change your mind and you want to close a pinned tab, all you need to do is right click on it again and then in the menu that appears, click unpin. And now it's just like a normal tab. So you can click on the cross and close it like you normally would. So that's how that all works. And it can be really handy, but there is one instance where you could lose your pinned tabs if you're not careful. If you open multiple different windows of Chrome by clicking on the three dots up here and then clicking new window. So now, as you can see, we have two different Chrome windows here. If you had a few normal tabs and a few pin tabs in window one, so we'll open up a few tabs here, just as an example, uh, Google Photos will do. And then we might, pin these two tabs. And then we have a few normal tabs in window two. So we'll go here and maybe Gmail. So now we have two different windows. One of them has pin tabs and the other just has normal tabs. If you were to close window one first and then window two, then when you open Google Chrome again, you won't have any of the pinned tabs that are in window one because only the pinned tabs in the last window you closed will still be here. So if you have multiple windows like this, you'll need to make sure all of your pinned tabs are in the same window. So if we open an example again, we'll pull up three different tabs here and we might pin two of them. And then we'll open another window and put that over here and we'll pull up Gmail here. So now once again, we have two different windows. One has pin tabs and the other doesn't. So if you're going to use multiple windows, you'll need to make sure all of your pin tabs are in the one window. So it's just this window. And then whenever you close Chrome, You'll need to make sure you close the windows without pinned tabs first and then you save this window with pinned tabs for, to, for the last one. So we'll close this one last and then when we open it again, the pinned tabs in the last window we closed are all still here. So that's all there is to using pinned tabs in Chrome. but. If you want to enable the setting that keeps all of your tabs open, you'll need to go into the Google Chrome settings by clicking on the three dots up here 
and then clicking settings in the menu that appears. And then once you're in settings, you'll need to click on on startup in this side menu down the side of the screen. And now you'll see three different options for on startup. So if you set this to continue where you left off, then whenever you open Chrome, so you start it up again, it will open all the tabs that you had open last time you had it open. So now you can close the settings tab and open a whole lot of other tabs. And now when you close the Chrome window and then you open it again, all three or however many tabs you had will all be there. And they will all have to reload. So if you had a lot of tabs, it might take a while for them all to open up and reload. But once they finished loading, you'll have all of your tabs back, just like it was before you closed Chrome. So that's really cool. But similarly to pinning tabs, if you have multiple Chrome windows open, this will only work for the last window you closed. So if you open a few tabs here and then you open a new window, so open a new window and we've got two windows and then you go to another website in this tab. If you were to close this window and then close this window, only the tabs you had open in that last window will still be open now. And unfortunately, there's not really anything you could do to change this. So one thing you could do is make sure all the important tabs that you want to keep open are in this one window. And then make sure whenever you close Chrome, this one important window is the last window you closed. That way you'll still have all of your important tabs open. Or you could do what Timmy does. And then after you've closed Chrome and open it again, and you've only got one window, you can click on the three dots here, hover over history. And now under recently co closed, you'll see three tabs or however many tabs you had in the specific window. So as you can see, when you hover over that, it shows you all the three tabs that we had in that other window. And if you had closed multiple windows, you would see all these different windows here. So after you close Chrome and open it again, you can just come in here and then click on restore window for each different window that you had and that that window will come back. So now you have all of these tabs again. But that's all there is to keeping tabs open in Chrome. If you use multiple windows, it can be a little tricky, but if you normally just use one window, both methods are really quite easy. So hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.